It's a novel uh, set in the Amazon rainforest. It's a novel fictionalised, but it's based on um, a lot of my own experiences and stories I've been told by the, uh, by the tribe people, tribal people that I, I lived with while I was out there. It's called Shadows of a Bright Forest. It's about a missionary, American missionary. In the story, there's one last tribe that has been uncontacted. And for the missionaries, this is like a, almost like a holy grail. They, uh, they want to, uh, they make a name for themselves, but if they can get in and, and contact the, uh, the uncontacted tribes. So in my story, there's one last tribe, and this is his, his goal is to, is to contact them and convert them because he thinks it will uh, make a better world. And some of the great stories come from great imagination, but a lot of the great stories come from real experiences, of which you've probably got a bit of both going on, I imagine. Tell us about your experiences in the Amazon, because this comes from a, a personal place as well, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. Um, I, I'd always had a... Um, a feeling for the Amazon. As a boy, I, as a gr growing up as a boy, I'd always wanted to see macaws. I used to get the uh, wildlife uh, encyclopedias as a kid, and I'd see the macaws, you know, these huge, brightly coloured parrots. And I'd always had this kind of dream of uh, seeing them in, in the wild. So, I, and then, you know, I, I paid attention to anything and documentaries and books on the Amazon throughout my life. And I started to read about the Indians and uh, always felt like I wanted to help them, but when I, when I thought about what was the best way to help them, I thought probably the best way is to just leave them alone. Because that, that seems to be what they want. They want to be left alone to live their life. But then years later, I, met a, I made really good friends with um, an anthropologist who'd been working in the Amazon for eight years. And I, and I told him this story, and he says, oh, Chris, he says, that's, uh, that's very noble, he said, but the reality is the Amazon is full of people outsiders who don't want to help the Indians they just want to take their land they want to rob them and he says so anybody who goes out there with these good intentions you'd be welcome with open arms and that, that's when I went he set it up for me to go to these very very isolated traditional um, tribes and uh, yeah, it was, it was a life-changing experience it really was I went again in uh, 2007 and then in 2012, well, I did meet somebody. I met an American. Actually, um, he was an ex-missionary, which is, you know, where I, I get some of the stories from my novel, um, some of the ideas. And uh, so I went over again in 2012 um, with an open-ended ticket just to see how it went. And uh, there for about 18 months and um, had some adventures, to say the least. Where do you even begin with, with bringing a novel together, given that it's your first fictional novel? Um, can you take us back to the beginning and when the idea came about and, and how it all started, really? The idea has been kind of growing over years, over years. And, and it was a story I wanted to tell. Um, I wanted to portray the, 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 in, the indigenous, indigenous culture in the way that they experience it, see it themselves, the way they see themselves rather than the way we see them. The actual story has been developing over years. Just this story came together in my head and, and I, I wanted to write it down. But I mean, that, that, and that, as, you, as you guess, that is the difficult part. It's actually fairly easy to get ideas, but the actual mechanics of writing it down and fitting it all together and making it into an interesting, exciting story, it's, it was a really steep learning curve for me. There's lots of bigger things I'd like to, like to be doing. Like, you know, I, I, I do feel I'm capable of doing uh, really good things. It's, it's a kind of a start. After the eight, last 18 months in Peru, I was invited to Australia to speak, you know, to try and raise funds for, for some projects. And um, I went over there and I ended up spending uh, quite a lot of time there, again, working in the rainforest, trying to do a different type of work, but restoring rainforest. And what, what I did there, I got, uh, I got a few hundred of the, uh, my first books printed up, and I was just selling them pretty much in the coffee shops in the, in the small town where I was living. And it was fantastic. It was, I, the feedback that I got was absolutely fantastic. It, it, was, uh, it was amazing. And you could walk around the town, you see people sitting down reading, reading your book. It's a nice feeling. 
Absolutely, that sounds incredible. That must really give you a spring in your step. Yeah, it did. It did it really gave me a lift, yeah. And then hopefully we'll do it all again with, yeah. with this one. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. It's, it's on sale now. Where can, where can people it's get on, it? It's on Amazon. Amazon Bookstore, Amazon.co.uk. Yeah, buy it. Buy it and, and, and learn and, and uh, read about an, uh, an exciting adventure story. You're a busy man. You've been travelling for a long time as well before the pandemic came. You must have a few more stories to tell in your locker, haven't you? Yeah, I've got, got bucket loads of them, yeah. 